Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and I've got another cool tip for you today regarding Gmail. Again, this isn't related to my 2013 video series on using Gmail. This is just a little add-on, but you might want to check that out if you haven't yet. It's a nine-part series, a lot of information. I'll post it in the description of this video here on YouTube. But in this video, we're going to talk about how to change our Gmail password on an iPhone or in this case an iPad just because it's a bigger example, although it's going to work the exact same way. So this is actually a lot more difficult of a question than it sounds. How to change your password, usually we can figure that out. The confusing part is that on an iPhone or iPad, you don't change your Gmail password in the Apple Mail app or in the Gmail Mail app. You just can't do it. There's no way to do it. And if there is, please post it in the comments section on this video because I'd love to learn it. So the way that I found to change your Gmail password on iPad or iPhone is to actually go through a browser. And the browser that we all have is Safari. So I'm going to use that as my example. Just go ahead into Safari and make sure that you're logged into your Google account. You can go to gmail.com and log in, or you can just go to google.com slash settings. And when you do that, it's either going to prompt you to log into your account, and if you are already logged into your account, you can go ahead and you can navigate to the part on the left side that says security and click on that drop down actually just click right on security and you'll notice that on the screen that comes up your first option right in the middle is to change your password so you can go ahead and click change password and you can enter your current password once and then your new password twice and your gmail password is changed. That's how you can change your password on your iPhone or iPad. You can't do it in either of the apps. You have to go through your browser. Go to google.com slash settings and there should be a change password option somewhere there. So I hope this tutorial helped everyone. That's all I've got for you from now. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That's all I've got for you today. It's Anson from AnsonAlex.com.